All right, I am popping back in just to kind of share with you guys. I got the first five sketches prepped, so I'm going to show you what I'm doing. And I did go ahead and take photos. Um, and I think I'm just going to put them on probably my Instagram, which is the same name as here. So what I did was I printed out the sketches. I go ahead when I print them and do my own footer. This is just what works for me. The same information is up here on this specific bundle of sketches. That's not always the case. I don't know if that's something that they're going to start doing, but sometimes it's just easier for me, especially if the what they're calling them is sometimes different than what it shows up as on like the file name. So this is just my nerd thing that makes me feel better. So I've printed out my sketch, put it in a page protector, tucked my photos in here, and then I also put notes in here if I've got any notes for myself. I even have gone through and pulled out, um, where am I thinking? Oh, okay, so background paper. So I've got a sheet of white because this one's going to get completely covered. This one I think I'm going to use for my background. It's just kind of like a cream grid color. This is going to be the base page for the left hand side of the layout. This is super old, but again, I hoard good my mind's eye. I wish that they would kind of come back with this type of thing. So I have pulled this. This is very A side heavy. So I went ahead and pulled this out as well. This is just some wood grain from Lawn Fawn. There is, I don't know if you're going to see with the glare. There's basically like a large wood grain and then like a smaller wood grain, but just, I thought some of the colors I could go ahead and steal from here for some B-sides. I did find this, which I think actually goes with that line. And then anytime that I, that I do their sketches with six by six pads, if I have 12 inch paper that matches the line, I go ahead and pull it and I just put it here because sometimes a sketch, and I don't think this one does not, Sometimes a sketch will call for like a 12 inch border and I know you can use six by six sizes, cut them into a strip and butt them together. Sometimes that just bothers me, especially if I can't cover it with like an embellishment. So I like to pull the 12 inch as well and just kind of use everything together. Um, these were sitting out needing to be put away. I've got some thoughts on what I would like to do with these and because the sketch now this isn't this isn't like black and white you have to use star themes on your sketch she puts things like this is basically just like an icon element so if you went um this isn't an orchard say you went apple picking or strawberry picking or something and you could actually substitute these for apples or strawberries or any number of things um if you are following along you guys have this sketch you have seen it you have seen what's going on with this type of thing this can easily become circles squares anything so i have these are the lawn fawn puppy stars i've had them forever i've used them a lot they're just i just like them i kind of prefer this cute sort of puffy star over like um like a more traditional one, even though there's traditional stars in these papers. I just like these, especially for kids stuff. And then I picked these photos because of him. And I've got some ideas in my head of what I want to do with this, but I'm not sure if they're gonna work. So I've pulled the stars sort of as my bridge. Now this isn't to say that I'm not going to then pull anything else from my stash. This is just what I'm starting with. Things like this is to tell myself I want to try to use this. If I can't make these dies work, then that's not a big deal. I'll figure it out while I'm putting the layout together. Same thing with things like this. I don't have to use this. This is just something for me to go to and start here then go shop my stash, I guess if that makes sense. So this is sketch one. Uh, sketch two I've got over here, same thing. I'm going to move this to the side. I've got my sketch in my page protector. My footer is printed. My photos are tucked in here. Um, the only thing I need to do, I did not put a note in here for the date. I will go ahead and add a note in here for the date so that when I'm working on my layout, I can go ahead and stamp the date and I don't have to look it up. The photos are still open on my computer, so that will be easy for me to just look at. 
And for this one, I've just pulled plain white cardstock um, because it's only going to peek out for a little bit. So my photos are from the scrap room crop this year. I started looking through more recent photos because I keep coming into situations where I'm about to duplicate layouts because I can't remember which photos I've scrapped. So I pulled this Echo Park I'd Rather Be Crafting, I have not used it. Um, as I've bought more 6x6 pads, I have been trying to do where if I'm buying it to use it for things like this, then I need to make sure that I buy myself at least one embellishment, whether it's a sticker sheet, a die cut pack, something like that. Um, unfortunately for most of my 6x6 pads, I don't have embellishments. So I was still kind of on the die kick from over here. I found these. So to me, this was perfect because there's a lot of these same images and icons in the patterns for this and my photos are about going to a crop. So to me it's all kind of themed together and then um, there's a pattern paper that has buttons. There is a die that I can make my own paper buttons. So from there I went ahead and pulled this as sort of like a small embellishment to include. So you can see that I'm kind of going with the same thing as far as I'm getting a paper pad, I'm getting anything else that I want to match with that line, I'm getting dies, and then I'm getting like a small type of embellishment if, if I feel like it. Moving on to number three, these photos are from a hockey game this year. This was actually a week or two right before we got shut down. So I actually pulled a graduation collection from Doodlebug because basically it's Golden Knight colored. I don't need to use the things like the owl and stuff like that. Plus, again, when you're matching stuff up, look at your sketch. Don't just look at where the photos are and what size the photos are. Actually look at where she's showing you the paper and the embellishments. This particular sketch only has like a very small amount of paper so I might only end up using maybe one or two sheets from here so even though it's a graduation theme I'm ignoring that and I'm going off of colors and I'm going to be looking at things like this or you know things like this so obviously again I don't even think I bought this pad I think this was given to me from somebody that was getting rid of some stuff so I don't have anything that matches this. And again, any embellishments that match this are going to be very heavily um, graduation themed and like with the owls and stuff. So when I'm going through and trying to figure out backgrounds and embellishments and stuff, I um, kind of instantly thought of this collection from Simple Stories because it's kind of the same color themes. Again, I'm not going to use this. It's a giant paper pad. I'm not using this full paper pad. Basically, I pulled it for this sheet and I've already measured it. I need four one and a half inch strips from this section to attach to white cardstock to make it look like I have two full size sheets of 12 by 12 paper that are this like black chalkboard looking thing. So that's how I'm going to cheat and make it look like I've used pattern paper for my background when I did not. Um, while I was pulling that, I went ahead and grabbed this stuff. I doubt I'll open it. Um, I'm not really sure. I'm just going to kind of see what I'm feeling when I'm doing the layout. I went ahead and grabbed it because there are these long Skinner banner pieces. And on the sketch are things like long skinny banner pieces. So again, I've got my photos in here. I've got my ticket stubs. I have... Um, I made myself a note because basically I figured out all, all of my photos, where everything I wanted it to go, and then I was like, shoot, where am I going to put the tickets? So I came up with a solution for where I want to include the tickets on the layout, and I don't want to rely on my own memory whenever I sit down to do this layout, so I just make myself a note. It just doesn't need to be detailed, it just make, needs to make sense to me. Um, so that's that stuff. Um, this was an extra print that I needed. Um, again, because of those long little skinny things, I can cut them myself, but again, I thought it would be kind of fun to see if I can kind of use more, um, dies. So like I had matched dies to these two and I thought, okay, you know what, I'm going to put this in here and we'll just see what happens. Some of these are pre-cut already into like banners, so it works. Then for my small embellishments, I don't have a lot of like gold 
things. So I pulled sequins and then I just pulled some black ones too. I like being able to mix like large things with little teeny things. So this works perfectly for me. And I, I can always put these back in my container if I don't want to leave things sitting out. I have pictures of all of this if I feel like I need to clean up, but honestly, I might just leave it out and I'm gonna kind of see if I can work ahead a little bit. Um, even though I'm in the group and Allison's gonna be sharing her layouts every week, I'm really trying to stay within my own creative brain, then share my layout, then go look and see what everybody else has done because it's just, I don't know. It's hard to explain, but that's what's gonna work for me. Okay, this is, I'm gonna move this stuff to the side. This is number four. Um, so I have some pictures from when we went to the Grand Canyon. Our hotel had snow behind it, so this is our only version of going to see snow. So I have white cardstock for my base. The sketch has some areas that include a 12 inch border. So again, I don't want to have to butt up six by six pieces and make my own border. So basically I just went to my simple story stuff and got two basic patterns, which these are the ones where there's wood grain on one side and like a check or a notebook or something on the other side. I just need a small strip and basically I couldn't decide which one I liked better. So I'm gonna put two of them in there and I'll decide when I do the layout. The six by six pad is Simple Stories, the Winter Wonderland. Again, I don't think I have any embellishments that match this. I went through my stuff really quickly. I'll look through my Simple Stories drawer again and I don't have anything that matches that, but I do have a ton of pattern paper in here. So again, I'm going to rely on basically making my own embellishments. So, Based on, you guys can't see it, but based on the left hand side of this sketch, there are depictions of some banner strips. So this is gonna just kind of make it a little bit easier for me and have things be lined up and have the ends of the banners just look cute. These have little pierced things inside of it, which I don't know if you can get these anymore. These are for my favorite things. Um, went ahead and pulled out a border punch. I don't have a whole lot of snow themed anything because it doesn't snow here, so I've got this. I found this giant die. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that. It's a giant snowflake. I thought I could tuck this behind some of the photos. And then I found these four like small ones. I was hoping I had some that were more like this, like the metal, but apparently I just eyed them on Simon Says Stamp and I didn't buy them. So I might be ordering those sometime, but again, it doesn't snow here, so I don't need them that often. Okay, last one that I matched up is going to be for sketch number five, which on quick flip through of all the sketches, this one was hands down like, yes, this is my type of thing that I like when looking at sketches. So most of it's gonna get covered up. So I've got two sheets of white cardstock. I've got my sketch page protector, footer is printed, photos are tucked in here, made a note for the date. My paper I'm going to use is Doodlebug Fairy Tales. I looked, I don't have any embellishments that go with this, and I don't need, based on the sketch, I don't need any 12 inch paper. So I didn't go looking for any 12 inch. Um, I have Doodlebug Petite Patterns in 12 inch, but I don't need it because the sketch is only using stuff in the middle. So from there, I found this from my favorite things, Magical Unicorns. It's not the exact same unicorn, but it doesn't need to be. Basically, I can just make my own die cuts. I also have this one, which is Love Cynthia Alpha Balloons. So I thought it might be fun to make part of my title with this and then part of my title with um, make my own thickers. And then for my small embellishments, I've got some Doodlebug Jewels. So again, so I've got all five of them laid out here. I think I'm just gonna work through them, then go to six through 10 and kind of do the same thing. So basically I think I'm gonna take a break from my Easter kit and work on this. So with that, I'm gonna call the Workspace Wednesday video done. FYI, my floor is still clean. So thumbs up the video for that. And I will catch you guys um, probably in the process video for this one in a couple days. Talk to you later.
Okay guys, the last thing that I kind of wanted to share on my 6x6 sort of prep going, um, I have done the 6x6 volume 1 and 2 classes before and I've done them multiple times and every time that I've done them, I've done them like all in one chunk. I don't ever just go to those sketches and pick one like willy-nilly. I'm usually gonna sit in those sketches and work through them all and so over the years as I've done them I've kind of gotten myself into just little things that that I already know I'm gonna want to get up and go look for in my room so I save myself a little time and and get myself a bucket like this and I put stuff in here that I'm going to be able to pull from for all 20 sketches no matter what 6x6 pad that I'm using and when I say that what I'm talking about is you probably have some of these 6x6 pads that aren't from a collection they're more of like a companion so for an example this is Doodlebug and these are their petite prints and so basically it's small b-sided patterns that are in the colors that Doodlebug uses for their collections so I like to keep this type of 6x6 pad, in this case this is a 6x8, in a bucket so that I can pull from here when I need a B-side or when I just need something that's going to read more like a solid or, or you know, maybe I'm using a 6x6 pad that's been pretty used up and I've already used all the solids that would have matched it. Um, so I just go through and pull out ones that are more like this. Um, I do put them in upside down because if I've used them, I tend to tuck scraps in here. I also put them in bags. So I'm pulling stuff like this and I'm gonna put it in a bucket here. And so where is... So for example, on the first sketch, I'm gonna be using this six by six pad and I've used this six by six pad multiple times with these classes. Um, when I was prepping it, I already went and pulled one of my like B side pads. So you guys saw this earlier in the video, but this came from here. So I just went over here and was like, you know what? I like the vibe of this one. I like, I like what's going on. And I went ahead and pulled it and matched it to it. I don't go through and match these up to my sketches. What I'll do is after I do the first sketch is I will put this back when I go to work on the second sketch. If I feel like I need something, I'll pull from here. And then I also, I don't really go on like a scavenger hunt through my room. These are things that I keep in a drawer down here. I just like to pull them out so that they're in here and they're there's something that I'm constantly seeing and constantly touching so most of my 6x6 pads are older and so I wasn't smart enough to buy like an embellishment pack or a sticker sheet to match with them so I already know going into this that most of my pages I'm going to be making my own embellishments or pulling from other things so I grabbed these are the simple stories little snap alphas Again, I keep these in my desk and these are just kind of handy. I also still have these ones sitting up here that I'm gonna be reaching for. Um, I've got the like snap labels and a leftover sheet from, I think this might be like a Heidi swap or something, I'm not sure. So I just, again, I stick these in here. I've got some phrases also from Simple Story Snap. I've got some Bella Boulevard arrows in some different colors. So these are just like, I call them basics. I feel like they don't necessarily match anything specific. They're just basic colors, basic, they, they're basic shapes, basic, basic things. And then I've got some little tiny alphas that I'm going to stick in here too. Um, the only other thing, like I'm not going to, my enamel dots already sit right here. I'm not going to worry about those. This is just kind of giving me almost like the bread to my sandwich. So then whatever specific elements that I want to match with this, if I if I'm like, you know what, I really want I really want a kite, then my options are to cut a kite out of these papers or to go stash diving into my sticker sheets or something like that and actually take a like specific 
trip through my stash to try to find something that I'm trying to, you know, support my theme of my layout. But I just wanted to go ahead and share. This is what I do. I've done it every time. I always pull these ones out. I set them to the side and I do use them because a lot of times you just need a good, a good B side, a good pattern that's going to allow some, some breathing room. And so these are what I go to for that. So I am really excited. I'm going to go ahead and end this here and get started working on sketch number one.